Hi art friends! Hello art friends! I'm excited for Christmas. As you can probably tell. <laughs> <laughs> oh my word! It's the beginning of November. It's Christmas time <laughs> as far as I'm concerned. Steph's one of those people that as soon as it gets to midnight on the 31st of October, it's like, it is Christmas now! <laughs> <laughs> so, I, I guess I should tell you what we're doing in this video. <laughs> <laughs> that would be wonderful! I thought we could just talk about Christmas for 15 minutes. <laughs> no. <laughs> No! We're going to be doing an art haul because we've been getting a few bits and pieces in. You've seen some of these bits on the channel, but... We haven't necessarily talked about them though. And you guys, some people have been asking for one, so it's always fun to do a haul now and then. Yeah, and I've been purposely picking out things that I think are themed to the season and I just want an excuse to talk about <laughs> Oh my god. Is that <laughs> what this is outfit. about? <laughs> okay. Number one, I've probably already talked about these a few times. I think you've used these. <laughs> Yeah, I've used them in a, a few videos. No! Used them on social media a few times. <laughs> but please let me talk about these guys. These are my Faber Castell Autumn Pit Pens, and I love them so much. I love them so much. Is it because they're themed? I love themed things. <laughs> I would never have guessed. <laughs> <laughs> and I've got a, a landscape pack that I got like in the spring or summertime. So that's like my spring and summertime colour palette. And this is like my winter autumn colour palette. Are you accessorising with pens? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh my god. And these are the colours that come in it, as you can see, super autumn-y. I've also got a piece of guinea pig hair in there. Nice. Ooh, delicious. Oh yeah, wow, they are kind of autumn-y. They go very well with like your, your yeah, pants. Yeah, thank you, your... <laughs> thank you. I'm glad you recognised. Those are pretty nice. And then to go along with these... Oh, I also thought, you know what, since I'm getting some autumn pens, I should treat myself to also some autumn fine liners. Yeah, but you ca you call them autumn fine liners. Because fi I got them in the autumn. <laughs> they are fine liners, but they are all black. These aren't colour themed. <laughs> the autumn fine liners. Okay, fine. They're autumn fine liners. My favourite one's the spelt tip because it's got like a little brush nib to it. Yeah, if you show, if I can just show this, this little thing here. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's probably a bow. It shows you the line variation that you can get with them. And uh, I'll post a video in the cards where Steph lists what these mean. Well, in your, in your own way. <laughs> in my own way. In your very professional art terminology. But yeah, I thought I'd get those ones out of the way with first because you guys, if you watch the channel a lot, you might have seen those already. Might. Hint, hint, go watch it. <laughs> my next wintry art supply that I'm really excited about. Okay. That I got very recently is this ink. Of course, it had to be ink, right? <laughs> Naturally. Um, what's it called? It's called White Pearl, but to be honest, I'm going to call it Snowball Ink because it reminds me of snowballs. <laughs> it has an official name, but it's not Christmassy enough, therefore it is Snowball. Isn't that look cute with my outfit? I just want yes, to like it's a... glue it to my shoulder. <laughs> what, like an ink parrot? <laughs> it's pearlescent. Look how pretty it is. Let's get in and have a look at this bad boy. We have to do a Christmassy video with this. Oh yeah, guys, if you want to see us do something Christmassy, hopefully closer towards the season with this, let us know and we can do a video on that for you. Oh. Oh my. <laughs> that, that's if it isn't broken by then. Oh, another thing. Oh got, yeah. I think this is quite a Christmassy art supply. Okay. <laughs> it's like a little LED drawing set that we picked up recently. We got one each. Yeah, we got two of these and we need your help. I have an idea. <laughs> you have an idea. Okay, we don't need your help. <laughs> it reminds me of like Christmas lights. You could draw like Christmas trees or like Christmas lights. Something Christmas themed. <laughs> Basically, what Steph, what Steph is trying to tell you is if you would like to see a Christmas themed video with these light boxes, give us a thumbs up and let us know. Pick a Christmas theme. <laughs> Comment down below with I need a neon Christmas tree in my life. Up next, I've got this red moleskin. Very themed once again. Matches my outfit, reminds me of Christmas. Bit of autumn as well. 10 out of 10. <laughs> <laughs> and I got this because it has gridded paper. Oh yeah, this is the first time you've ever actually had a sketchbook with gridding. Is there a reason for that? Yeah, I, I actually picked it up because I thought it would help me rough out like comic panels and stuff oh, like that. Oh, yeah, it'd be perfect yeah, for that. Yeah, because whenever I try to do comic panels, my lines all go like... <laughs> Whereas with this, there's no going wrong. It's like graph paper. It's like maths. <laughs> without the maths. <laughs> it's like maths without any of the maths. Can you show an example? Oh yeah, I've shown this one on Twitter. Oh, let me see. 
That's oh. me and Adam as Animal Crossing characters. Yeah, we used like uh, one of those Shindan maker, like generator things. But I thought it was called Shindig maker, <laughs> apparently it's not. <laughs> you, th you thought everyone was having a party. <laughs> <laughs> the Shindig maker. But yeah, I'm really enjoying this because I've been doing some really, really, really rough concept stuff on this. Ooh. And I doubt there will ever be a sketchbook tour of this. And I love that. I love that it's going to be oh. so messy that I can just do whatever I want in it. You know now, you know now you've said there'll never be a tour. There's going to be high demand for a tour of that thing. <laughs> no. <laughs> I think this is one of the last things I've got is your Adam's got a few things as well. <laughs> They're not Christmas themed. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is where the festive part of the video ends abruptly. This one's not really like festive themed as well. <laughs> it is black like the coal you will get for Christmas. <laughs> this is a render sketchbook. I wanted to get a render sketchbook for as long as I can think that we've been on this channel. They don't sell them in the UK, we had to import it from America. Once again guys, you are so lucky, because <laughs> that, that thing is incredible. And I had to pay a tenner to get this, and I thought it was going to be bigger than this. <laughs> you thought I you'd got a bargain. how tiny <laughs> it is. So I wanted to just sort of talk about this for a little bit, in case anyone doesn't know. Despite its really. size, what it can do is super impressive, I right? It's almost like cardstock, the paper that's in it. It's so thick. It's very thick, yeah. And you know like how alcohol markers, when you use them, they like bleed through the page? And yes. And then you end up with lots of... I wonder if I have any... I bet I haven't used marker in the sketchbook yet. I thought well, you did with the Animal Crossing. How you end up with bleed through like this, but it's even more extreme in alcohol markers. <laughs> and if you're like me, that page doesn't count in sketchbook tours. <laughs> does it? As you can see, I've got like lots of swatches on this Oh yeah, let, let's get a look here. And oh, those so are... those are your autumn ones, right? Nope. <laughs> These are just oh. some green hoo-hoo markers. It's kind of <laughs> ironic that they're all green. <laughs> These are just some green markers that I found. So, you really do just swatch for fun, don't you? We've owned those for ages. Look, on the other side, absolutely hasn't went through. Ooh, do a quick flip over so people can... Yeah, there we go. That's proof, guys. That's one page. Isn't that like magic? But my complaint with this is that <gasps> it's kind of got like a bit of a spine to it. Uh, can you see like how it folds? Yeah, it's quite thick, yeah. Like that. And when you're drawing with it, it kind of wants to fold like that. So if you want to draw on the other side, which is the whole point of getting one of these, yeah. you, because you want to draw on both sides of the image, it's kind of a nightmare to draw on on the opposite side. <laughs> it could be solved if I just got a bigger one like I intended. <laughs> <laughs> but its purpose is flawless. It's really good at what it's supposed to do. And I've been drawing a lot of themed frogs recently. I won't show all of them on here because you'll be here forever. <laughs> I draw many frogs. He's a birthday cake frog. Oh yeah, yeah. People on Patreon really loved him. I really want to do like a, a zine themed around food frogs one day. I was trying to get all my friends on board with it but they, they weren't really... Well there was one in me. <laughs> but we might be doing something themed around animals instead so... I'll just do frogs. Food themed animals. <laughs> <laughs> and if we release it as a zine, you guys might be able to buy one if you want to. But we'll keep you posted with that. Yeah, that'd just be like a fun little passion project to put together all my passion... Food and animals. <laughs> all my passion toads. <laughs> passion toad. Now as you can see over here, Adam is also dressed kind of festive, he didn't realise. Am I? But it's because he's oh. wearing like green and checkers, and I'm wearing red and checkers, and together we are Christmas. <laughs> Together, we are Christmas. <laughs> We're entire holiday together. <laughs> yeah, he really wanted to show this. You guys seen this in the previous video, but look at this. Look how many batteries this thing uses. It uses two AA batteries. Wow. <laughs> it's like an electric toothbrush. Basically, yeah, but it's so impressive in that if you have a first world problem and a raising is too high. <laughs> so hard to use. It's really hard to close too. Darren, you need to up your eraser game. There we go. How do I explain this? It's just an eraser that spins around <laughs> and it's incredible. It's so good. I mean, I wish I could. It's so loud. Let me draw on this box. Right hey, there. that's our Christmas box. There we go. There's a line, right? Yeah. And we uh, use the spinny eraser. <laughs> it's the sounds it makes. That's the sound of lead crying. And when we use this on like the same surface or something, like if I'm trying to draw at the same time when he's using that. <laughs> it's like an earthquake. Yeah, it's like my drawing hands going like, Aah. I'm just erasing, don't mind me. But yeah, that was a gift from our friend Sam. And thank you so much, Sam. That, this is like amazing. You really do feel like a peasant when you go back to erasing. <laughs>
<laughs> you do disturb your friends with it though, that's a downside. I wouldn't use this in a library or something. <laughs> yeah, definitely not a library. <laughs> Don't mind me! You know, but other than that, it's, it's incredible and Derwent make really good erasers anyway, so it erases Well, is so that one well. that I really like a Derwent eraser? You like ra uh, rotaring erasers. Uh, the triangle really ones the one I like. Uh, Which... They're Derwent ones. Derwent, yeah. Why do I know so many brands of erasers? That's like your <laughs> specialty. This is my life now. <laughs> I know nothing about erasers. Next item is this. This is a... Uh, oh, yay! I was going to say, this is an eraser. No, it's, it's not. <laughs> it is a sharpener, which Steph got me recently, which is really sweet. Now, the really cool thing about this is that it's a normal sharpener. Pfft, who cares about that, right? <laughs> but what's really cool, if I take this out of this mechanical pencil here, whoop, you might notice it has two tiny little holes on each side, right? <laughs> Me and my friend, when we were looking around in Hobbycraft together, oh. she saw this and she was just like, oh, it's in a, like a sharpener with extra holes in it. I have no idea what to do, but it looks cool. And I was like, oh, my boyfriend loves pencils. He needs this. <laughs> Smurfs can use it too. But the tiny little holes, if I can show you in there. We've literally only figured out what these do this <laughs> morning, by the way. It sharpens like mechanical pencil lead. I oh. hope you can see that. Oh, it's such a mini tiny pencil point now. <laughs> but it's awesome because I really like using mechanical pencils in doodle dates and outside of making videos too. But one thing I don't like is after you use it for a while, the end can get really flat and then you have really thick lines constantly. Uh, yeah. And that's a pain. They get really blunt and snubby. Whereas, whereas now, look at that. That's like I've sharpened it in a pencil. Well, I have sharpened yeah, it in like a pencil I'm... sharpener. <laughs> but yeah, that's awesome. I think that's so useful and I've never seen a sharpener do that before. I am very impressed with very cheap things. <laughs> Next item. <laughs> Next item is also, everything in this is a present. I haven't okay. bought anything. <laughs> I haven't bought much recently. <laughs> the next present was also from Steph. Let me give it a sharpen reel. Oh, it doesn't fit in your sharpener, honey. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit too big. <laughs> I picture it because it was so big, though. <laughs> it is a really good pencil, though, guys. This is by Faber Castell. It is an 8B, I believe. And it's jumbo. It's just really big and friendly. <laughs> and that's why I really like it. It's just basically a really soft, dark pencil. And it's really good to, when you've sketched something out, maybe lightly. I've been using it, actually, in the past couple of Doodle Lights to darken lines. If I don't <laughs> I will use this and it's incredible. It's so good. I've been actually, this year, I've been kind of getting more into Faber-Castell things and they make really yeah, good Yeah, I've stuff. got really excited about Faber-Castell. I've just realised all the pens that I got of Yeah, them. exactly. They make. I didn't realise I'd got you a Faber-Castell pencil. <laughs> Not spun. <laughs> but they do make really awesome stuff. I'm very, yeah. very impressed. Feel free to send us a million autumn pens, Faber Castle, if you're watching. <laughs> a million autumn ones. Come yes. spring. Oh, I can't use these anymore. Yeah, well, we'll have to put them away for autumn. Future autumns. <laughs> <laughs> Phew. Oh my god. And also, this, I've had this a while, but I've only started using it recently because I can sharpen it now. Oh. Is that why you'd stopped using this one? Yeah, because it was like, this uses like 2B lead. So it's like really thick and flat when you use it too much. Yeah. But this is like awesome. It's just a mechanical, it's a mechanical pencil that looks like a pencil. But... Oh yay, I'm so happy I ended up buying you something that's actually helped you use yeah, one of your I'm, pencils. Yeah, I use this so much more now, it's great. I'm oh! Super grateful for you for that, so thank you, hun. And I bumped into a subscriber when I was buying these. When you were buying these two things, yeah. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this quick little haul, guys. It's fun to do one now and then. Comment down below if you've got any new recent art supplies that we should know about, because we always enjoy trying out new stuff. I'll post a mystery video here. And subscribe if you haven't already, because we love you. And we'll see you next time for another Doodle Date. By the way, today's poll is, do you like pandas or do you like crocodiles? And if not the other one, why? I want to know why you don't like pandas, because they're really soft.